In this lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to perform inheritance using Python. For this lesson, we're going to create a shape class, which will be our base class, and then we're going to derive a rectangle class from that shape class. So let's get started. We'll call our script or program shapes.py. We'll begin by creating a shape class, and then any other shapes that we want to create will be based on this class. So the first thing we're going to do is write the constructor, which of course takes the self object first, followed by an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And that's all we need to do to create the constructor. Next, we'll write a two string method. So as you can see, what we're doing is, is we're providing the location of the x and y coordinates like so. And these are not commas, these should be dots. So let's fix those real quick and get rid of the space right here. Finally, we'll write a move method that allow us to move a shape to a different xy coordinate. And that should be x1, like so. And so that's enough to demonstrate how inheritance works. Now that we've created our base class shape, we're ready to move to create a derived class. In this case, we'll do a rectangle. So we write class rectangle, and then in parentheses, we provide the name of the base class, which is the shape class. So the first thing we do is create our constructor, as usual. So a rectangle gets an x-coordinate, a y-coordinate, and a width, and a height. Now here is the first instance where we do something a little bit different, we're going to use the base class constructor to set the x and y coordinates. So to do that, we call the base class shape dot, and then the constructor for shapes, which looks just like that. And then once we're finished with those, then we're going to set the width and the height, like so. So the only tricky part of this is calling the base class constructor, and it looks just like that. But again, part of the idea behind inheritance is to not have to rewrite code that's already there. And because rectangle inherits from shape, we should be able to use this constructor as is without having to change it, and then just add in the pieces that we need for the width and the height. Our toString method is going to work similarly. Let's bring that up one to get us in line. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a string variable to store all this data. First thing we have to do is call the toString method for the shape class to get this part of our object state into our variable. Then we're going to add the width and the height. Let's continue that on the next line. Like so. Move, we don't have to change at all. So now we're ready to demonstrate how it works. So let's create a rectangle object. Let's display it. Then let's move it. And then let's display it again. The idea here is to demonstrate that because rectangle inherits from shape, and since we don't need to change anything to move, we should be able to use it directly, and it still worked just fine. So let's see how that works. Bring our command prompt back up. Type python shapes.py, and you'll see that indeed we did move from x5y10 to x15y22. That's how inheritance works. Simply tell it in the definition what class you want to inherit from, and then every place that you need to use some piece of the base class, then just call it in the derived class's definition. So that wraps up this lesson on inheritance in Python. But now we're ready to leave object-oriented programming and look at another very useful tool for modular coding in Python, and that's working with modules.